Okay, so listen, I get it. You've played golf a long time. You slice every single ball into the trees with this club, and you don't really know what to do. You're not alone. I mean, hundreds and thousands of people do the exact same thing every day on the golf course you normally play. It's just not a big deal. You don't have to do that forever, though. But I do have something that's a little bit harder to hear. Uh, you can't just watch one video on the internet and cross your fingers and it's gonna solve your slicing problem. That's just not how golf instruction works. That's part of the problem as well. It's golf videos are not written very well. They don't talk about how to stop slicing very well. It's very disorganized. So that's why we've made this eight video series, including this one you're watching right now, to talk about how to just never ever to slice this thing into the trees. And, and then not only do that once, but do that forever. So let's talk about how the ball flies. You'll need to watch all these videos though. We'll start with the introduction of just curving the ball to the left and how to do that if you're a right-handed player, but you've got to watch them all. If you just watch one and you try to go play, I can't guarantee you that's going to work. Maybe it does and that would be awesome, but let's get started with the ball flight laws and then watch the rest of the videos and you'll be on your way to stopping slicing forever. So let's start with the easy part, and that's helping you diagnose where the ball goes so that uh, you can then find the very specific problem that you're having to stop slicing forever. So it starts with recognizing where the ball started. The initial start direction is given to the shot basically by where the club face is pointed. So if I aim my face over there to the right, when I hit, that's where the ball is going to start. If I aim my club face really straight, you'll get a really straight shot that starts straight. Now, which way it curves, we haven't gotten to yet, but that's the initial starting direction. And then lastly, you can hit one that pulls or starts to the left. That again is when the club face is aimed that way. So best understanding that you've got to the left, straight to the right. That's the first part. So which way did the ball start? That's the beginning. Okay, the next part you wanna watch and the one you already know the answer to is how the ball curves to the right. To spin the ball and make it start straight, you have a very straight club face. So you hit, club face is aimed right down that target line, but the path of the club, when you watch that really closely, will be swinging from the outside of the ball or too far away from you, towards you, this way. That's what imparts the rightward spin on the ball. So whenever you have the face angle aimed further to the right than the direction you swing, these balls are gonna curve that way. So that's the basic understanding. That's what you do wrong. Now, sometimes you pull the ball, they start to the left. So that's just the face angle aimed to the left, but the same problem. Sometimes they start straight and curve to the right, same problem. Sometimes you start with the face angle open to the target, pointed too far to the right again, and they curve to the right, same problem. You're always swinging to the left of where the club face is aimed. So understanding that general principle, this is kind of what that shot would look like or you're used to hitting all the time. I'll aim my club face really straight and then on the downswing, I will slice across the ball, swinging out to in like all of you do when you struggle with the same shot. So that ball started just barely to the left, curves to the right. Let's take a look at the launch monitor data. So as you can see here, you've got a club path that is 12 degrees out to in. That means to the left. Then you have a club face angle that is open to that path by 7.6 degrees. So to lay this down really simply, I swung 12 degrees to the left. I had my face angle aimed pretty close to the target, a few degrees to the left of that, and the balls always spin. Another key point in this that's interesting to watch is the amount of backspin that shot has. You can see how that reads 34-34. That's the amount of spin. A really good way to hit your driver is to get that closer to 2500. So that becomes a problem that couples them, the two of those problems together, swinging to the left and having the face angle open to the path too many degrees, usually imparts a lot of backspin on the ball too, robbing you of hitting the shot farther. All right, let's talk about the straight one. And we're only going to talk about this one time. So here's how you'd hit a straight ball. Aim the face angle right down your target line. And then as you hit the ball, the path of the club has to be really straight as well. That would be the recipe to really not put much curve on it at all. However, learning how to do that right now is totally pointless because the goal for you is just never to slice again. So we're going to talk all about how to curve this more to the left and every little layer of detail should help you curve it more and more to the left, eliminating those right trees altogether. So let's talk about how to hit just a huge draw. Forget the quality of the shot. Here's how you make the ball curve to the left. 
This one, I'm going to start with the face angle really straight, but as I hit this shot, instead of swinging across the ball and pulling the shaft in towards me and slicing it off to the right like you saw, this one I'm going to swing and try to hit with the path of the club moving inside, going outward, away from me. That imparts the rightward tilt of the ball and makes it curve further to the left, so just like this. So that ball started really straight. It's probably drawing about 30 yards to the left, and that one's going to roll a lot and have a lot less spin. So let's take a look at the numbers on that one. So on this shot, first point to notice is that total spin, that backspin number on that is now down to just barely over 2,000 RPMs. That's going to make the ball carry, roll farther, total distance went way up on that one. The pieces that made it curve though, let's talk about those. So the first one is the, the club path. So instead of swinging 12 degrees out to in like we did on the previous, this one is about seven degrees in to out or to the right of the target. Now you know that's not the only piece though. You need to have the face angle, like this one, close to the path. So my face angle on this was actually aimed to the right, four degrees. So those two things together made the ball start pretty straight with a little push and then curve a lot to the left. So you need to get both of those, the club path, further in to out, the face angle, aim more to the left than what you're used to hitting. Okay, so step one is understanding how the ball flies off of this club. That should be a little bit more clear in your head. Step one of watching a ball get hit and deciding what to do next is where did it start, then which direction did it spin. From there, you can begin implementing some change throughout how to swing. So that's what the next seven videos are all about, how to make sure that you don't hit this with that slice and solve that problem forever. Keep watching from here and you'll get the problem taken care of real quick.